So this is where the rich hide here in Maputo. All I need is you, baby, baby. Over. Oh, it's really beautiful. There's a beach right there. All these villas, condos, I don't know how you want to call them. Right here. It's very beautiful. Super amazing, you know. Me and Supermass, we are lost here. But we like doing things like this. We like just getting lost and discovering places and just, you know, following no roads to nowhere and just, you know. So, our stay in Maputo has been really amazing. The only major challenge we've had is uh, we were not able to find flights out of this country, especially heading to Tanzania next door. It's really difficult and like there's one flight a week. That has been our main challenge. Security is, is Mozambique dangerous. That's now the real question of this video. Mozambique, you can tell, it's a very calm, beautiful country with one of the longest coastal lines in Africa, actually. So this coastal line goes and goes and goes and goes. And as already said in my previous videos is if you go that way, that way, that way, that way, right there, you'll find uh, Madagascar. So, let me clean my lens. It's raining here. It's drizzling. You can see super mass. Baby girl, are you travel commando? You look rained on, like wet. Yes. Why? It's because of the rain. It's too much or a little bit? So, here yeah, in Maputo, it keeps raining and I want to clean my camera. It keeps... Um, you can hold this for me. So, it keeps raining a little bit and disappearing. Raining a little bit and disappearing. So, we're just getting lost here with Supermass. So, I'm cleaning my camera. This is very popular, this area. And... Um, do you think uh, Mozambique is dangerous from your experience so far? Mm. Not that much. Huh? Not that much? Mm. Have you experienced something which makes you say a little bit? Uh, that guy, the, the day we stop and we had to say something yeah. on the street. Yeah. Some guy said, that guy could love you, this is. Yeah. And also somebody said when we travel at night, Yes. Somebody could drop you. But it's never happened to us. But when somebody says, it's it mean, it could be. Yes. So technically, it's like any other place, you know, any other place in the world. You just have to be careful, you know, when you're traveling. But actually, um, I'm safe to say Mozambique is safe to travel. But there is a problem with the, like, entirely with, the, like, pol politics. So there's some groups trying to resist the, the government and they want to form their own government here in Mozambique. But I don't think they should be a threat for you to travel around here. Because you can see from here, you can tell. Cars are moving, it's easy, you see? Chill, nice, some breeze from the ocean, cars are moving. So, and you see beautiful villas behind us. I think, uh, I think it's safe to say, Mozambique, if you're traveling locally, you're doing good. But it's now not really safe if you use the bus, especially if you are moving from one country to another through Mozambique, especially central Mozambique, and the north side of Mozambique, which is bordering Tanzania. But uh, generally, like walking here in Maputo, it's very chill, man. People are driving their cars next to the ocean. It gives me the vibe of Miami or Panama City or maybe Cartagena, Colombia. It gives me those vibes, you know. Yeah, we are walking home. It's been a long journey, actually. Supermass, what are your recommendations if somebody's coming to Mozambique so far? Let's say you're your best friend wants to come to Mozambique. What are your advices or what's your advice? 
Mm, you must know a little Portuguese. A little Portuguese. <laughs> because many people don't speak English here. Imagine if you are alone here, maybe without tomorrow. How yeah. could you survive? Body language. <laughs> so, you know, me, I speak uh, Spanish. And that has helped us a lot. Because sometimes you may think, oh, Maru, what are you trying to say? And it, man, you go to an office, nobody speaks, your, nobody speaks English. Mm. And you have to explain yourself and say, I want to eat this food. I want to pay. How much is it? And man, for me, actually, Spanish has really helped me here. So it's either you speak a little Portuguese or you know some Spanish, I think you can survive. But uh, technically, if you don't speak those two languages, it's going to be really hard. Mm. It will be like luck to find somebody. Yes. To find somebody who speaks English, you know? Mm -hmm. So any other, that's the presidential building right there. If you see straight on, right there, that's... That's the presidential building. And uh, there are small places here where people guard. So any uh -huh, any other recommendation apart from uh, Portuguese? Mm, travel when everything is okay. Like it's normal time, not doing COVID thing. Why, why, why ma? <laughs> because but it's very difficult to find the way out or the way in to travel. Yeah. Very difficult to find the flight, and also it's costly because you have to take COVID tests. Yeah. This and that and this, no? I think maybe it's, you, we could say like, before coming to Mozambique, have your flight booked out. Yes. I think that's more safer to say. Yeah. Than you coming to Mozambique and trying to look for a flight from here. But the thing is, uh, for example, for our case, we had to change our you know, we changed our itinerary because we were planning to travel by road, but it ended up like we can't use road anymore because it's not safe in the center of the country, central part of the country, because there is a resistance group called Al Shabaab and many other crazy stuff. But here in Mozambique, we've really enjoyed in terms of uh, Maputo, you know, the capital. It's very serene, chill, you see trees up here. Uh, any other recommendation? So your friend is coming to Mozambique and she has asked you to give her some recommendations and things to do and not what to do. Um. <laughs> Only two? I don't know. Maybe later. Later? Yeah. I'm thinking about it. But generally, do you feel Mozambique is dangerous? Like you can travel like safely. Safely. Yeah. Here. Mm. So far, we've just experienced Maputo. So we shall be speaking yeah. about uh, the capital, Maputo. Mm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, another thing is, if you are if you you are visa free for South Africa, it's very easy for you to travel here. Yeah. You know, because all you have you to do is back. yeah, you can go back, and you can take a bus. Yes. And you only can be like, like for hour from here to the border. Four hours? Three hours? No, actually it's less than that, ma'am. I remember last time when we crossed the border, we started seeing like Mozambique, like it's already here. Oh. Yeah. But what you're trying to say is if if you have free entry or visa free entry to, to South Africa, it's very, very easy to travel to Mozambique and back. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have to worry about flights. You can always cross the border and then book the flight from uh, South Africa. I don't know what's happening here. There's this car showing some hazard. They're filming. They're filming? Huh? The first guy, the first car, they... Oh, was filming? The phone. Yeah, the phone. Oh, wow. So, I think, ma'am, we shall take some nice pictures from here. I think it looks really beautiful from here. And uh, this video will be, is Mozambique dangerous? And some recommendations, you know. We always do this type of videos because we know tomorrow it will be you who is traveling to here. You may say, oh man, what will I go to do in Mozambique? Yeah, you may get a job and your boss says, you know what? We've just opened a new office in Maputo. Yeah. We've seen Chinese work here, even yes. in the shop we went. Mm. 
and uh, I think he is the owner. Is the owner that yes. guy? Yeah, maybe. So, you know, that's what you are trying to say. You may think, ah, what will I go to do in Mozambique? My friend, you may find yourself here. One of these fine days. All I need is you, baby, baby. Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.